good morning children hope you all understood yesterday's classes regarding the digestion of lipids right so in the last two classes we were discussing on the digestion of lipids and we have completed uh, the digestion which is happening in the oral cavity in the gastric mucosa and what is happening in the small intestine right so the preparatory phase are almost over it's not over yet of course 75 percent of the digestion has been uh, discussed right so the digestion of lipids gets initiated in the oral cavity with the help of lingual lipase and it is then uh, the uh, lingual lipase holds what's function of lingual lipase it mainly catalyzes the digestion of the milk fat because the lingual lipase and gastric lipase can digest only short chain fatty acids the dietary contents having only short chain fatty acids and a typical example for dietary components which are having short Short chain fatty acids are the milk fat, the egg, egg, egg fat, etc. Right. So, with the help of the lingual lipase and gastric lipase, almost all the milk fat will be digested and they will be directly absorbed from the stomach itself by simple diffusion because they are small molecules. Right. But majority, 95 percentage of the lipids will be remaining intact because they are made up of complex lipids. Hence, the, the digestion of these complex lipids are carried out by a powerful enzyme which is secreted by the pancreas, which is known as the pancreatic enzymes or pancreatic juice contain a set of enzymes which are specific for digesting the different category of lipids because the diet contains different, different categories of lipids like TEG, the cholesterol esters, the phospholipids, etc. Right? So, all these are specifically cleaved or digested by specific classes of enzymes and the most important, the principal pancreatic enzyme is a phospholipase which is responsible for digesting the dietary TG, right? And uh, yesterday we have a very detailed uh, explained, well, in detail we had explained the uh, uh, digestion of TG, right? That is, it's carried out by phospholipase uh, which can act in alkaline pH and is provided by bicarbonate ions with the help of a set of hormones starting from secretin cholecystokinin and pancreocyamine and apart from that there is one more hormone which is known as hepatocrinin uh, which comes into action whenever there is a deficiency of bile salts okay so all these things were detailed in uh, yesterday's classes so i just revise it once more the phospholipases or it is also known as stepsin whose optimum pH is 8, which starts the digestion of TG and the digestion is happening on the terminal carbon atom other than either R3 and Actia, right, uh, release, uh, resulting in the formation of DAG, 1,2-DAG, 1,2-diacyglycerol, 1,2-diacyglycerol is acted upon by another molecule of phospholipase which acts on the CR1, resulting in the formation of 2-MAG, right, 2-MAG may be, a small portion of 2-MAG will be converted into 1-MAG with the help of isomerase enzyme, and this 1-MAG is again further cleaved by phospholipase, uh, third molecule of phospholipase uh, resulting in the complete digestion of TG to give rise to glycerol and three molecules of free fatty acids. But it usually happens uh, only to a certain extent. Majority of the uh, molecules, TG, will be remaining in the form of DAG or 2-MAG. Clear? Right? Now, uh, what's something? Uh, there's something... Uh, extra to be explained about phospholipases that is phospholipase it's a very potent enzyme no so uh, these this uh, phospholipases are actually synthesized in their precursor form or they are also known as zymogen form i think you might have heard this term zymogen in enzymology right so zymogens are the inactive form of the enzymes uh, typically uh, the enzymes are as zymogen cytobody synthesis yeah mekkavaram proteolytic enzymes are in all proteolytic enzymes in inactive form la na synthesize cheyulu because um, proteolytic no other than that, it causes the lysis of proteins, right? So if they are produced in an uncontrollable manner, uh, or if they are produced synthesized in the active form itself, there are chances that they can dist uh, destruct the body's own proteins also, right? Body the thanna proteins na thanna, alangal cells the proteins na thanna, that is destructive. So in order to prevent that, the proteolytic enzymes are usually synthesized in their zymogen form. Now another example for an enzyme which is synthesized in the zymogen form, which is coming under lipids, is the pancreatic lipase. Clear? Pancreatic lipase. This lipase is synthesized in the zymogen form, and it is known as prolipase. Prolipases, right? So prolipase should be first converted into active lipase. NL matre in the article of TG destruction along the digestion of the initiative. So how is the prolipase converted into uh, what uh, converted into the active form of the uh, lipase? It is again with the help of a coenzyme. 
which is known as co-lipase, right? It's a, uh, it's an, uh, the, the conversion is carried out by uh, and another enzyme known as colipase. Again, the, uh, the co uh, colipase in it is also secreted in the pancreatic juice, and this uh, colipase also is synthesized in the uh, in inactive form. So I imagine form it is colipase is synthesized here. That is it is in the form of pro colipase. Clear. Upon in order to initiate the digestion of TJ, first the lipase has to be active. The lipase has to be active, and this activation of the lipase is carried out by another enzyme known as colipase, both of which are synthesized in the zymogen forms. Right? Upon Adam and the Venom, pro colipase and lip colipase are kit matcha. Are and pro colipase and lip colipase are kit matcha. It is by the proteolytic enzyme known as trypsin. I think you might have heard that term, trypsin. Right? Trypsin. Is a proteolytic enzyme which is since, uh, present in the small intestinal mucosa. Mm -hmm. so, intestinal cells, la, 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 intestinal lumen, la, la enzyme ana, trypsin. Trypsin again, trypsinogen in the form like an I think I will be studying in this year. How is trypsin converted into its uh, trypsin formed from trypsinogen? Or mechanism the name, really example, or really process another step by step by turn trypsin then active form like mara clear so it's a proteolytic enzyme so trypsin adim e trips adim trypsinogen na trypsin undao right appa ai trypsinogen na ingane trypsin undao vechinal ee acid chyme vannu nu manasilai kaynal aanu the trypsinogen will be first converted into trypsin this trypsin causes the conversion of pro colipase to colipase engine activation nadakkana vechinal chala amino acids anga remove cheyum remove cheyidittu avare size anga korakkum adana undavana you will learn in the mechanism mechanism of action you will study in the enzymology paper you will study okay so ipo ithre manasilaaka the inactive form is converted into the active form by cutting up of the amino acid sequences in the protein molecule appa pro colipase ana velliya molecular weight ulla compound aayirikkum aa pro colipase ne evade chala chala position le specific positions undu avade vechittu korcha they will be converted into the active form, which is known as colipase. E cutting and rejoining is carried out only in the presence of trypsin. Clear. So, trypsin first comes where the trypsin is again a proteolytic enzyme or it is a protease. Right? So, it is a protease. So, this trypsin will first act on pro colipase so that pro colipase is converted into colipase. This active form of colipase then causes the activation of prolipase to lipase. Clear. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is the active form. We, we uh, phospholipase in there, uh, uh, action is further depending upon very other, many other factors. Other uh, than trypsin veranum. Trypsin veranum is the trypsinogen. Trypsinogen is the formula. So trypsinogen will be first converted into trypsin. The trypsin causes the activation of conversion of pro-colipase pro to colipase. Then this colipase carries out the activation of uh, pro-lipase to lipase. Clear. What's the function of colipase? Colipase is the function of the original. Uh, it is pro uh, phosphat phospholipase ana velli or role carry out cheyana karan diet la majority illadum tg aanu appo tg nu onna valare hydrophobic aayittulla molecule aanu majority ayinathi uh, fat aanu illadu tg appo tg ilekku lipase ne ethan bayangara buddhimuttaanu because lipase is a hydrophilic enzyme so what does this colipase do colipase carries out or it binds to the surface of this emulsified fat droplets Fat droplets in the male point bind it. Clear. So emulsified fat okay, molecules are getting matrix and bile salts. Bile salts are converting the bigger fat molecules into small fats, fat droplets in the form of missiles. What are missiles? Missiles are those compounds which are in their emulsified form, having a polar group and a non-polar tail. droplets are getting And then we call it as missiles. Right, our emulsified form of fats in we call it as missiles. Right, the missile formation happens only in presence of bile salts. So the bile salts has first now converted the bigger fats into small fat droplets, which are known as missiles. Now, e missiles in the male larvae, it is bound with colipase. Right, our colipase one bind the inner then it is it is enabling the lipase to get anchored onto the fat droplets. Right, but colipase enhances the lipase to come and get anchored. Anchor is known as the anchor. We have to the ship and the anchor. But the colipase helps enables the grip. 
hmm? polybase enhances the lipase to make a grip on this meshes clear so that it can bring about its action that so that is how the tg is converted into dag dag is converted into 2 mag ennal kodi ella tgs onnum complete breakdown onnum nadakkonnilla okay so this is how they are carrying out their function so that is how the or this is the mechanism of action of phospholipases right so phospholipase is acted upon by another enzyme which is known as cholipase which itself is synthesized in the zymogen form known as procholipase Procholipase is converted into cholipase with the help of the proteolytic enzyme trypsin. So trypsin first comes, converts the procholipase to cholipase. Then what happens? This cholipase goes and binds onto the meshes so that it en enhances, it enables the conversion of prolipase to lipase and also enables this activated lipases to get anchored onto the meshes so that they can bring about the degradation. Clear. So, this is how the reaction has happened. Right. So, TG, this is how the TG is getting broken up. So, TG in the same majority, TG, uh, DAG or 2MAG in the formula. Small amounts of 2MAG will be converted into 1MAG. 1MAG I can tell. That's why majority MAG. That's 1MAG is correct. And they will be completely broken up to give rise to fatty acid and glycerol molecule. Right. Now, another second category of enzyme present in the pancreatic juice is the phospholipase A2. Phospholipase A2. Or it is also known as lecithinase enzyme. So what is the function of this enzyme? It brings about the destruction of the phospholipid lecithin. What is the other name of lecithin? Phosphatidyl choline. Right. So it carries out the synthesis. I mean uh, degradation of the phospholipid known as lecithin. Right. So what does it do? Why, what does, why if we have indicated it as phospholipase A2? Because it carries out the removal of the fatty acid on the second position of the phospholipid. Usually, degradation of fatty acids in the removal of the terminal position. That is 3, pin 1, pin 2. But in case of phospholipids, the lecithinase enzyme comes and causes the deesterification or the fatty acid on the second carbon atom will be removed rather than on the third and the first carbon atom. Right? So, uh, uh, why, how is it able, so how, you, how is it able for the lecithinase enzyme to carry out the destruction on the second carbon atom? Because it is an emulsifying agent. Now, the bile salt is the proper, no? bile salt, uh, phospholipids, no? and that actium atom, detergents are the actium atom. Okay, phospholipids, la, phosphate group, and which are polar in nature. So, they can behave as detergents. Okay. So, this is how the phospholipase A2 brings about the destruction of the glycerophospholipid. This is the general pairana. phospholipase A2, lecithinase, what does it do? The phosphate phosphatidyl choline, trimethyl ethanol amine. Trimethyl ethanol amine is the choline. If you add phosphate attached to the glycerin, we call it as lecithin or phosphatidyl choline. Clear. Upon what does the phospholipase A2 do? Either glycerophospholipid and glycerophospholipid the second carbon atom. It undergoes deesterification. Upon remaining the fatty acids are present on the first carbon atom and the phosphatidyl choline is present on the third. So the resulting product is lysophospholipid. So phospholipase A2 converts the phospholipids to lysophospholipid for example if phospholipid is lecithin what does the lecithinase enzyme or phospholipase a2 do it converts lecithin to lysolecithin lysolecithin means the phospholipid with the fatty acid removed from the second carbon atom and then we call it as lysophospholipids the, the general name ana but lecithin iron we call lecithin is converted to lysolecithin by the enzyme phospholipase A2. Clear. Now what happens next? This lysolecithin can be converted into uh, glycerol. Can be converted further. Further degradation can also be carried out. Uh, the first position is fatty acid name removium by the enzyme lysophospholipase. So that the glyceryl phosphocholine or glyceryl phospholipid can be generated, right? So that is how the degradation is taking place. I'll explain once more. 